All righty, who's ready to wrap up hard mode? You guys ready to take down the Moon Lord and defeat the, the big pillars and beat the lunatic cultists? Not necessarily in that order because I sure am. Tell you what, because uh, so far, hard mode has just fallen before the might of Ballman. I don't know if you've actually looked at the playlist at all, but I noticed the other day, it looks like it's taken me about 13 episodes to get through pre-hard mode and about, what'll this be, six? or seven to get through hard mode? I mean, my God, isn't it supposed to get harder as you play? But I just keep flattening them. So like I said, nothing really to go over because there really was nothing I did off camera. I took care of the old one's army and uh, I got Betsy's wrath. That's about it. I got a couple of the pets, which are, I suppose, worth mentioning just because, you know, I like to showcase that mod in particular. Nothing else really new. I know they're in here somewhere. There's one creeper's egg. Summons a pet flicker wick to provide light, which is something that's dropped from the ogre. Increased summon damage, melee damage, melee attack speed, affecting whips. So, you know, that's really good for summoners and for the melee. Oh, and there's the other two. We have the gato egg and the dragon egg, which I'm pretty sure are, yes, dark mage and also dark mage. Yeah, dark mage has two pets. Okay, great. Well, there's a range pet, it's a dragon egg. Increases arrow speed, pierce, bullets, really nice. Arrow pierce is really cool. I like that, it like guarantees penetration. Increases bullet speed, specialist ranged weapons will crit enemies below 20% health all the time. Threshold decreased to 6% for bosses, but I understand, gotta be fair. And the Gato Egg, nice summoner pet. So that with the flicker wick would be really good, I think, overall for summon. Maybe one of these days I ought to, uh, kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies like thinking about fishing, but maybe I ought to play a summoner one of these days. I know, sacrilege. Believe me, I'm aware. But, uh, you know, just kind of a, a thought, because it's the one class I never touch. I would rather play the fishing class. But anyways, let's go on over and defeat the lunatic cultist. How you doing? And now let us begin. What shall I kill them with? I have so... So, 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 so many choices. You know what I'm gonna kill him with. Boop. Ha 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 ha! Oh my god, that was definitely worth it. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, that, that resprite looks really cool. I'm a big fan of that. Look at that, the magical weapons have even been changed. Okay, we will use the power of the homing abilities because, my god, can I not aim? There we go. Activate mana power. Oh god, I have been chilled. Or no, I have not been. I thought that that chilled me. Never mind. I've lied. Oh god. Oh god, what is it? Yeah, this one. Yeah, there we go. See, I'm smart. I know which one it is. Ha ha. Almost forgot how it worked there for a second. All right, come on, come down here. I've got some magical sparkle gems with your name on it, Mr. Cultist Man. There you go. Oh god, it's been distracted. Oh god. Oh, there we go. He's almost down. He's getting close. Om yom yom nom, whatever nom nom to you too, big guy. There we go. And he's been defeated. And I've been, I've become the Slayer of Worlds and obsessive devotion. Oh god. Okay. So we got some events going on here. Uh, literally directly next to the, uh, to the dungeon. That's cool though. Oh, look at that. Look at that re-sprite. Doesn't that look nifty? I know what you're thinking. Well, that's not Foundry and Alchemy. No, it is not. You got some uh, new texture packs you got to check out now. The boss bar down there tells me how many enemies are left. It's nice. A little countdown for me. Many star cells. Already killed 50 of those. That's remarkable. Oh, not really. Stardust Pillar usually goes down pretty fast. Got a nice little uh, remastered soundtrack here. It's a little disco, a little dubstep techno. <laughs> with the light show we got going on, it's nice. <laughs> and the shield is down. And let me just go right here and watch the health disappear. Here we go. Stardust has been defeated. Oh, what did I get? There's other things in there. Black hole fragments. Hmm. Flakes of matter around you are being sucked into this fragment. Black hole brick, black hole fragment. Hmm. Very fascinating. Very fascinating indeed. Okay, let's see. Where are all these pillars at? There's the nebula. And there is solar. And it looks like Vortex is over there. Well, that kind of makes sense, I guess, a little bit. Well, not really. Stardust, I think, looks good in the ice biome, but uh, it's cool that the solar is in the desert and uh, Vortex is in the jungle. That is what I would imagine that the home worlds of all these different mysterious creatures would look like. Black hole fragments, I'm guessing, are probably something ritualist related. I remembered it was mentioned to me before that uh, they shouldn't be in the game. All the ritualist stuff shouldn't be in there right now. It just got overlooked or something uh, got missed. 
or whoopsie daisy, I have no idea. Now I can see if there's anything new that I can make out of these other fragments. So stardust, power, anything, pocket sands. That's hilarious. Summoner Mutagen. Mutagens are nice. Big fat increase to damage overall. Celestial Sigil. Got a nice resprite there. Looks good. Doesn't look like anything out of the ordinary, though. Pocket Sands is kind of funny, though. I don't have enough of the Pocket Sand, though. I mean, I might be able to make some. I have no idea. I need a lot of leather. I think I can buy some from What's-His-Face. Where is he? Epos. You didn't get knocked out by the Empress of Light again, did you? There you are up there. Come here, you bastard. Don't ask questions as to why I need so much. It's better that you don't know. Okay. Got him. What does it do? Exactly what I think it does, probably. <laughs> Where is it going? Is it going to come back? Oh, it was only one. It's a single use. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I don't know what I've unleashed into the world, but that's funny. Okay, well, since the nebula pillar's right next door, uh, I'm going to go over here to an area you haven't seen before. It's my little mushroom house that I made. And uh, we're going to take down the nebula people. Oh my god. Nebula looks... Kind of cool with the mushroom biome background, I'm not gonna lie. I think I kind of like it. And doesn't that look cool? Kind of looks like a marker from Dead Space. I'm a fan of that. Oh, I can already tell the thumbnail for this video is gonna have so much going on in it. And one more down. Blowing it up. Look at that. Disintegration. Anything new with Nebula? Galaxy Stone. That's something I need for later on. I can make the Sorcerer's Mutagen. No funny, silly, ridiculous goober items with this stuff. Okay, and make the Nebula Arcanum and the Nebula Blaze. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really ever use... I don't use the Arcanum much. I like it. I think it's really cool, but I never really use it. Nebula Blaze is usually the best option for me. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, and it came out mythical already. Ain't that just a sign right there? Look at that. Big damage. Okay. So what will I probably not be using? We're not gonna be using the Razor Blade Typhoon. I think I used it one time. I went and killed Duke Fishrun for nothing. All right, let's get the solar one out of the way. That's the one I didn't want to have to do, but whatever. Also, all you lovely folks in the uh, in the desert house there, I apologize in advance for what's coming, because, uh, you know, about to get ugly. I wouldn't say I've been thinking. I wonder why modders don't add in extra pillars for their custom classes. And then I remember there was a certain mod that wasn't very well received that tried that. And, uh, you know, the pillar lunar events are so fun. So fun already that, uh, you know, why not make you have to fight five instead of four? Do you imagine if every mod had a custom pillar for their custom class and you installed a bunch of content mods together? Oh my god. Also, that looks really cool. I don't know what that's a reference to, but a giant floating molten rock is cool. Kind of looks like a fist. Come on, where's all the enemies at? This is the solar pillar. Things are supposed to be aggressive here. Where are they? Check out this super incredibly engaging content. This is why... Everybody watches the Ballman channel. And there we go. Boop, 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 boop. Ippity hoppity, your pillars are gone. Itty. And there we go. That's the end of that one. Anything fancy from Sola? Mm? Grace's Guidance. Yes, I can upgrade. I can do this now, actually. Holy Elemental Damage Resistance. Holy in Fire. Critical Strike. Stacks if both elements are present. An Aura of Holy Flame surrounds you while holding a Fire or Holy Elemental Weapon. Increases length of invincibility after taking damage. I don't think I actually have any of that. Okay, so before we go out there and take down the other pillar, there is one more thing that I'd like to do, and it is something that I have been neglecting. We need to go speak to Apotheosis. We have not been down there to see him in a long time, so we are going to speak to him. I'm sure he has something to say now after all these bosses have been defeated. Hello, old friend. I haven't forgotten you. The horrific plant is dead, indeed. This frees up many opportunities. Got a little bit of an expansion plan there, do you? This is a smaller boon, but we hope it helps. You may now create more of these yourself as well. Feel free to take these as well. With these, we are certain they'll help. Ah, Apotheotic uh, Murmur. So now I have a super powerful, uh, I guess would be post-Plantera Summoner set. That's really cool. These surround your cursor and do damage over time. We might make that just to take a look at it. And then there is the... Apotheotic Tree Brand. Increased minion damage, minion slot. You have a healing aura. The tree grows various fruits. The tree grows on the headband somehow. That's funny. And the Chloroflower Sprout. Grows renewable chlorophyte. A jagged rock brimming with life. Do I have to hang this from the ceiling or something? Or the ground? Oh, is it like a tree? Okay, that's cool. Anything else you have to say? The Temple's Protector, Feld. This is a bit of a passion project of mine. We don't know if it'll help much, but we suspect it'll be fun. Best of luck. 
Mud Squid. Allows quick travel directly through some solid tiles, including all natural verdant tiles. Well, I have no idea how that thing works, but that sounds really cool. If I can actually figure out how to get it to work, that's uh, might be game breaking. I don't know. We may find that out. Anything else to say? The world is your garden, my friend. All right, well, I guess that's the end of what he has to say for right now. That's kind of cool. Always got new stuff from him. So now, what can I do with the apotheotic murmurs? Can I make that set? Is it is it possible for me? It looks like I need a lot more chlorophyte, which I don't know if I have much of. And I don't know if I can buy them from anybody, so yeah, I guess we're just not gonna find that out yet. All right, to the surface of the jungle. Oh, these Vortexians. So weak and fragile. Also, that looks really cool. I like it. It looks like, kind of like a giant hive, sort of little like eggs or something growing out of it. That's crazy. A giant jungle bathed in storms actually sounds exactly like where these would be from. And time to take it down. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. And another one bites the dust. Give me my pillars. Ah, oh, God. I wanted it. I wanted the vortex fragments. I don't have time for this foolishness. Okay, now we're good. Deposit everything. Ellen, I must speak to you urgently. I have to run away very fast. Very, very fast. Here I go. I am ready to defeat you, Moon Lord. And there he is. Look at that, Moon Lord. Isn't that something? Check out that re-sprite. I, for the life of me, cannot remember what the name of the texture pack is. Like I said, I'm not very good at remembering things when I'm in the midst of fighting, but you know what? We'll figure it out. Wow, okay, I wasn't expecting that. I may die. Everything's a little bit more purple now, by the way. He's kind of got a color scheme of Luminite, but man, he looks amazing. I'm probably going to die. I was not prepared. Come on. One hand is down. The other hand is down. Let me see your mind's eye. I must destroy it. Come on, come on, it's getting there, it's getting there, it's getting there. Don't get hit by the death laser. Fall down, fall down, come on, explode. Oh, God, oh, and we're dead. Well, it's really hard to do that without the teleporty thingy. Moon Lord Eyeball, come on. Do me your death laser. Which way is it? That way. And we fall. And we go straight down. Yeah, soaring insignia, very, very nice. Apparently why I thought that it was limited was because of calamity. Come on, Eyeball, center eye is down, okay. I'm very low on the health, but run away and we shall be good. Okay, how about this? We will use this. Sorry, base. Oh, this is gonna be ugly. You're probably, this is probably gonna hurt. This is probably gonna hurt a little bit. I'm shooting at you and you should be dying. Oh God, okay. I got far enough away from you that you teleported. That's gonna be a problem. I was not expecting that. Ugh. The power of run away and don't die has never failed me before. And it shan't fail me this time. Come on, damn you. And there we go. He is dead. The Moon Lord has fallen. Look at that. That is an amazing sprite. And there we go. We have defeated Terraria. Hooray. Oh, you gotta love the Moon Lord. It's always an intense time. Okay. My God, Moon Lord Relic. There we go. As per our last chat, your next trial is a machine of my own making. Oh God. Despite my best efforts though, I simply couldn't hold back on making it a little more challenging than what you're quite ready for. I've elected to give you private access to the lower sections of my base of operations. I'm quite sure you'll find some old toys Teal Chrome left behind down there. You'll have to excuse the mess, though. Anyway, I'm eagerly anticipating your next trial. You're gonna love it. Oh, I'm sure I will. Okay, well, we have to fight another Omega prototype. And that Omega prototype is the one and only Omega Obliterator. Feel the sense of frustration, prepare for obliteration. And we gotta go defeat the other section of the abandoned lab. We are in the post Moon Lord now. There we go, we got a key card to open up down there. We have a new, uh, a new pet here, which, my God, this thing has got a lot of words on it. The suspicious looking tentacle increases defense by one per quality, movement speed by 0.4% per quality, all damage per quality, crit chance, ranged armor penetration, crit, Max minion slots, whip range, mana potion effectiveness, max mana, melee size, and lifesteal. My god. I, I don't know if what I got was good or not. I mean, it's doing a little bit more damage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess. Might have to kill him a couple of times to see if I can get a fully maxed out one of these. I bet that would be insane. And what do we get in the treasure bag? A another suspicious looking tentacle. Now oh, we got the last prism too. Of course I did. Ah, uh, yes. This is gonna be a fun thing. Watch my mana potions disintegrate. Don't attack. I've come to relay a message from Kingslayer. Oh, hello. I'll be heading off to the other world soon. So if you have any unfinished business with me, 
I'd get on that soon rather than later. Okay, so uh, not quite done with him yet, which I already knew that. All right, let's see what I can make out of the lovely new Luminite here. I can make an upgrade for the Sun Shard Great Staff, which is a holy weapon. Empyrean Bind. Shine blinding light onto nearby targets. That's cool. I guess it would give me the ability to use that uh, that cross now. I don't get the extra boosts from the fire side of things, but at least I got extra holy power. All right, we got the Nebula set. We'll throw that on there. It's actually uh, only slightly better, it looks like, at least uh, defense-wise, than the hard light set. Probably pretty good for mage, though. I'm sure I'm going to do a pile more damage. Actually, not really. I guess functionally is really the only thing that I'd want from that, but the hard light set looks really good comparatively. And the set really doesn't have anything else special about it, which is kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is, I suppose. Also, I crafted this piece of Moon Squid out of the Moon Lord's Trophy and the Mastery Shards that drop. I only get a couple of them. I only get five for the entire game. That's it. That's all that will drop. And with them, you can craft any of the boss pets. But I grabbed this piece of Moon Squid, the Forbidden Calamari, summons a Moonling, because it is ridiculous. Adapts to whichever class has more damage. Selection prioritizes as follows. Melee, ranged, magic, summon. For me, for magic, it'll give me an extra 150 mana, decreased mana cost, magical crit, and damage. So throwing that thing on there, I'm kind of hoping it's adapting to, to mage. I'm sure that's what it is. Yeah, that's definitely what it's doing based on the stat sheet there. So yeah, I, uh, pretty good. You know what I mean? 50% crit, that's like half the time it's gonna be critting. Oh yeah, big damage. It's gonna be a fun time. Also, I found plutonium bombs, which are crafted out of capacitors, plating, and luminite. So now we can get that plutonium that Kingslayer wanted so bad. All right, let's see if Apotheosis has anything new to say now. I suspect that's the final fight. We don't know what else you have planned, and we have little more to give. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of work, and I think we need a break. Perhaps you'll see something new in the future. Researcher's bag. What do we have here? Crude paintbrush. Can rapidly place tiles in various placement styles. Right click while holding to cycle placement style. Build tool has a maximum 1,000 tiles placed at a time. A crude veneer belies a powerful artifact. Show this to the apotheosis by right clicking them. Okay. Ah, my old paintbrush. Apologies if it's a bit rushed, but we know it's a useful tool. Placement type, okay, wood blocks. That is really cool. I am a really big fan of that. Oh, and I can undo what I place too. That is really cool. That could be really good for building. It's a shame I'm not creatively inclined. That's uh, unfortunate. But that's cool for those that uh, like that kind of thing. Play around with that. You could probably do some crazy building really quickly. All right, what else we got here? Wilted flower, a long dead faded yellow flower. Show that to Apotheosis. Ah, daisy, my favorite flower. Shame it's been so long, hmm? Ah, and feel free to ask me about anything. And then my Apotheosis, Emily. Okay, a book, my old notebook. Oh, it's like a journal. Okay, remember writing in it all the time. I still get the itch to here and there. Oh well, can't use it anymore. It's bizarre enough to regard it at all, considering the last time I wrote in it. Okay. Cool. So, uh, let's read the book. Learn about my apotheosis. It's been a while since I've run out of supplies. My caravan is empty aside from research, with mice and bats being all I can eat. Water is surprisingly clean and fresh around here, so it's just hunger. The research is done, however. I'm categorizing the flora around here, and it's magical. To a point where I'm not sure that's simply a term, or just the truth. Some surprisingly lush grass and foliage around. I've even seen some minor tree saplings here and there. A most curious wood, too. Despite my starvation, this is the heaven I'll suffer for. The meager morsels of this land have been sufficient for time, though barely. I've set up a small but acceptable study, both to hold my things and to keep myself safe. Often an errant skeleton or angry bat finds itself around, and I am an explorer, monster slayer not. That being said, food grows scarcer yet. Beyond bats, I've lost mice. Seem the little critters have learned their biggest threat. Time lies outside of my reach. Studies notwithstanding, I've little left anyhow. Time grows weary, as do I. Studies continue, fervor reaching new heights as I see things unique to this strange cavern. Behind the hunger pains, the fatigue, despite my dismal state of being, I live stronger than I've ever lived. To me, this is life. The creatures around here thrive, play, talk, and fight. Perhaps there's even more I can't see. Alas, death comes knocking, and I've no way to close the... I can't see that way. Close the something, close the door, maybe. 
But perhaps in some other time, these plants find another pair of eyes and bewilder as I have been bewildered. And then view a flower, a flower with a bulb in it, a curious one, betwixt the petals a gentle glow, a calming glow, a glow unlike anything I've seen in my time here. I've all but abandoned my study. There's no food and I'm on my last breath. My only regret is being unable to study this flora, this gift presented before me. May someone find my work, may some passion revive what I've died doing, May this journal find someone in good health, in good spirits, and goodbye, Emily. So is Emily who Apotheosis is? So somebody found their way to this cavern, this beautiful lush cavern, turned into this, surrendered to the overgrowth, I suppose, and became one with nature, literally. Okay, that is cool. And I guess that's the end of that, folks. That is the end of the Verdant and the storyline inside there. At least for the time being, anyway. That is really cool. I like that. I'm glad that I added that mod to this. It adds a couple, like, useful items, but for the most part, it's just something else that's cool to explore. All right, let's go see what Kingslayer wants. But first, I'm going to blow up this bomb. Also, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. I could save everything for uh, the next one. Do all of the post Moon Lord stuff there. But oh well. All right, let's drop a bomb. What happens? Oh. Oh, it literally just... Okay, cool. Just a giant pile of plutonium, which it does actually make me a magic weapon. The P2 Warhead Receiver. Tactical nuke incoming. Doesn't destroy tiles. Calls plutonium nukes from the sky. It does what? Oh. oh! Oh, that is cool. Bet that'd probably give you a hell of a headache. All right, Kingslayer, I've got all the valuables for you. All right, I've got your AFTL drive here. There we go. Got it. Was helping me with all that really necessary for you? You don't gain anything from it, but thank you regardless. I'll be leaving soon, but I want you to have this. I have yet to figure out a use for it, but take it. Okay, memory chip. Interesting. That's no use to you, but it would be a good idea to keep it for now. The chalice has something to say about this item. Oh, do you? On first glance, it seems like a useless gift to someone like you, and although it may be true, I don't doubt this may play a crucial role in the future. Okay, well, I'll hold on to it then. Come to help again or what? Data logs. Oh my god, okay. So this is all of the rest of them. So I'm gonna tell you right now, there's not a chance in hell that I'm gonna sit here and read all these uh, at this very instant. I'm probably reading them off camera, but if you're curious, I'll leave them all up here for a second, all right? Some of them we've already seen, some of them we haven't. And I'm gonna go through them all here, all right? Let you do a little bit of reading if you're curious. And then we're gonna move on. My god. I suppose a million years in space will uh, give somebody a lot of free time to do nothing but write. And there we go, the final log. I've made it back, I'm home again. All right, well, that's it. Anything else you have to say? Why are you here? The ship is fixed. The ship is fixed, they just can't be bothered to get up. Crash spaceship? One of the cruisers I sent out into this universe's space to look around. I left it to the androids for a bit, but I suppose one malfunctioned and got terminal stupidity. Why are you still here anyway? Ship's fixed now. You aren't fighting me? After all you've done, I don't feel like fighting you. A duel, maybe. Aren't you human? I wish I still was. Okay, that's still the same Hall of Heroes. There's four members. The first is that demigod doofus. Honestly, he's a chill guy. Just state how much stronger he is compared to me. The second member is some moron who's supposedly invincible. Not once have I seen him get hurt. Third is, well, she's probably the most normal out of all of us, but I don't know what she's up to now. Would that maybe perhaps be Nebulaeus? I wonder. Abandoned lab. I'm planning to check it out soon. It's located on the other world, but I can easily fly there with the SOS. Interesting. Other world. Frozen radioactive wasteland, huh? That's where you're headed to. That's your other world. That's where you're going. Oh, that's the end of his little adventures here. Can I take this with me now? I still can't take that. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, ship's all repaired now. And there is this little thing down here I'm kind of curious about. What is this? Your monkey brain is too tiny to use this thing for now. Okay. Don't know what that is, but I'm imagining it might have something to do with teleporting to that wasteland. All right, so I've helped out Kingslayer. He's done. The Moon Lord has been defeated and all that business is done and over with. I finished everything up with a Verdant. I don't think any of the NPCs sell anything new. I don't know. I don't think so. I guess I could go over there and check out the T-Bot and see if he's got anything else interesting to say. 
Don't know why on earth he feels the need to be all the way over there. We're going to bring him back. Well, I guess with all that done, there's only one thing left to do. I've got to go down and I've got to check out what's up with this portal down here. The Gotharum portal is doing something funky. All right, what's going on up here? What's up with this? Oh, hi. Whoa, what? Hello, Twin Face Solus. My God. Okay. Uh, surprise to me, I suppose. What on earth was that? Was that it? Just a just a jump scare? Is that what you got going on for me right now? Okay. So I've got a shade soul. A soul of pure negativity. That used to be something to do with the druid weapons for the end game. Okay. So I can make a magic weapon if I can combine it with vessel fragments. This is interesting looking stuff. What else did it give me? Shade Soul Gateway. Opens a portal to the Soulless Caverns. Can also be used to leave the Soulless Caverns. You feel like keeping the gateway open would be a bad idea. You know what else seems like a bad idea? Going through that anytime soon. Ah, okay. The Soulless Caverns, huh? I believe I was told that that is new stuff. It is also never-before-seen content, or maybe not never-before-seen, but it is, uh, not in the main edition, I believe. So we're definitely gonna do that later, but we have a lot of stuff to do. I have got to deal with the last of the abandoned lab, I've got to figure out whatever the Soulless Caverns are, and I've got another Omega prototype to deal with, and the whole endgame. So you think we're done? We're not. There's definitely gonna be another episode or two here before the, uh, the day is over. So for sure, uh, gonna be some good stuff coming up. So with that done, uh, I think I'm gonna call it an episode here, because my god. Probably gonna be a long episode, I did a lot today, I got a lot of power. I dropped nukes now. As if it couldn't get any more ridiculous. But like I said, I think with all that said and done, I'm gonna call it an episode here, guys. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out, I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye Thank <laughs> you.